Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a little bit more information about Herman Prime's skills that we're going to go over today in this video. And this isn't even a leak. This is actually in Rise of Kingdoms right now. Lots of people over on Discord were talking about this this morning and also in my Alliance chat when I logged in. And what I'm talking about is actually the debuff removal on both Theodora and also Pakal. If you come over to the expertise on Theodora in game right now and you tap on poison it says the poison effect is inflicted by tamiris's uh counter attack skill as well as prime herman's mandrake root and forest of fallen eagles skills and again if you come to the third skill on pakal and you tap on poison it says the same thing so we have two different sources of this exact same information that's already in the game so we learn two things first of all we know herman prime is being planned to deal poison stacks this is actually an insane amount of information but not only that it's apparently present on two of his skills now it could be the case that mandrake root and forest of fallen eagles are the same skill except one is just the expertise version of the other so the actual Active skill for example could be mandrake root and then the expertise skill could be forest of fallen eagles that much we actually don't know but it could also be the case that let's say there is poison stacks on the active skill and then there's a second skill for example that will deal an instant proc damage that also deals poison stacks. so right now we have no idea whether these are both the same skill or they are different skills dealing poison stacks but i just want to be clear it could be the case that one of these is just an expertise so what do we know about poison already in the game well there's really only one commander in the game right now that deals poison stacks and that is Tamiris, and that is like her thing this is what she is still used for till this day people still use Tamiris when they're swarming down structures in Ark of Osiris or even in kvk because of her fourth skill which gives poison stacks okay poison is a debuff in rise of kingdoms and each stack of poison debuff that you get the target will take three percent more skill damage now with tamiris we know that this can stack up to 15 times so this begs the question like can you also stack poison up to 15 times with herman prime and also will this stack with tamiris's poison stacks i think that it probably will but imagine you do a herman prime primary with a tamiris secondary and now both of your commanders have a way of inflicting the poison debuff to that target and what happens if Tamiris you know she removes the stacks with her active skill and deals poison damage basically or direct damage with the poison stacks what if Herman Prime also has a skill just like this where you remove the poison stacks and deal instant proc damage if you pair Herman Prime with Tamiris are you going to be basically dealing double the poison stacks whenever you're adding a stack of poison that's going to be crazy crazy because then one player will be able to add poison stacks much faster than normally and then of course you could extrapolate that out to multiple other players doing the exact same thing now this is assuming that they have synergy it could be the case that maybe they don't but also what if Herman Prime doesn't remove the poison stacks at all and I think this is one of the biggest problems with Tamiris or problems I should say is that her active skill dispels the stacks of poison which most players don't really want to happen most players just want to leave that debuff on the target at all times because 45 percent increased skill damage taken is an insane amount of extra skill damage that everybody is dealing right and the fact that this is a debuff on a target not a buff on your commander and that's a huge distinction because a debuff on the target is way more powerful and that's why tamiris has been so prominent for so long and when i say prominent i mean she has sort of a niche role but when you think about like other kvk2 commanders they're basically never used at all these days and tamiris still has at least that one role because of how powerful debuffs can be so the fact that herman prime has allegedly two skills that are going to deal the same poison stacks as Tamiris is crazy especially if he can spread it with two different skills now this also teaches us something else and that is that Herman Prime is basically guaranteed to deal skill damage okay there is no reason why they would implement a poison debuff 
on a commander that would not be able to use it so in other words if herman prime was a smite damage commander then he would be dealing damage based on normal attack damage okay so if he's not even dealing skill damage well then why would he have a debuff that causes the target to take more skill damage right it would make no logical sense at all and so I suspect that based on this it is almost guaranteed that Herman Prime is going to be a skill damage commander just as a refresher we already know that he is an archer versatility and support tree commander and honestly I think that this is kind of a buff to skill damage in general right like I think when Liu Che came out and with, when Gorgo came out a lot of players were thinking oh well maybe the devs are going to be straying away from skill damage and I feel like that still might be the case I think that they're still going to implement more smite damage commanders but it seemed like the devs wanted to introduce a new type of damage which makes sense but then they go ahead and now add another commander with poison stacks which is just another commander that is going to cause targets to take more skill damage and so what this does is now players have another tool in their kit to increase the skill damage that they're dealing and they already have a bunch of commanders that are dealing skill damage so this is kind of like another small buff to all the skill damage commanders which is kind of funny because it seems like that is the opposite of what they wanted to do when they announced smite damage also this further reinforces the swarming meta right i think a lot of players have realized especially the ultra powerful whale players who've been playing for years they've realized that they can output so much damage with just swarming down a structure that if you have have multiple well or powerful players swarm something down um, you can deal an insane amount of damage in a small amount of time and Tamiris was one of the keys to making that happen and having poison on another commander that I suspect and this is just my my assumption but I suspect that Herman Prime is going to be much stronger than Tamiris okay I think that is basically a given Tamiris is one of the older commanders in the game so the fact that we're getting a prime version which by the way primes have all been basically must have commanders every prime commander in the game right now is meta and is insanely powerful and two with power creep in rise of kingdoms it's just it's basically guaranteed that herman prime is going to be a much more powerful version of tamiris right so if you have a swarming meta already with a commander like tamiris being relatively weak well now it's going to be even crazier because you're going to be able to add poison stacks and also deal whatever amount of damage that you're going to deal with Herman Prime that I suspect is going to be much higher than that of Tamiris. Now, we don't know a lot of things about this skill other than the fact that it adds poison stacks. Uh, we don't know how many times it can stack, right? If we look at Tamiris, she has poison stacks up to 15 times it could be the case that you wouldn't be able to stack it 15 times with Herman Prime I think that's unlikely I suspect that you will still be able to stack it 15 times because that would make no sense if you paired them together well then who's takes priority right it probably would be whoever's is higher and therefore you would just run him with Tamiris and then you would always get the 15 but I imagine that it will still be a stack of 15 times the only thing that makes me question that is the fact that with Sargon and I know Sargon does not deal poison stacks he has the odd debuff but it is basically the same thing okay this only stacks up to 10 times now why would they make it stack only up to 10 times even though it does the basically the exact same thing except it's when you deal skill damage instead of when you deal a normal attack well I suspected that the reason that they made odd debuff only go up to 10 is because they realized that the poison stacks on Tamiris were too powerful right um it seemed to me like maybe they thought okay 45 percent skill damage is too powerful we need to you know lower the cap to 10. that's what I thought would be you know it was the case with Sargon but you know I just can't imagine a world where they release the exact same debuff on the exact same type of commander an archer commander and have it be less than 15. so that's something that we have to take a look at when he actually comes into the game how many times can it stack I bet it will be 15 but that just seems kind of crazy to me this also kind of makes Sargon look even worse in a way right because again Sargon only adds his odd debuffs with the uh, skill with dealing skill damage right which he deals five hits of skill damage so he deal you know he applies them very quickly but it goes up to only 30 percent increased skill damage taken whereas poison goes up to 45 and now that you'll be able to double stack the poison with two poison commanders I just feel like poison is much better than than odd debuff anyway and I think that it already kind of was except for the fact that with 
with Sargon, you could just not unlock his fourth skill and never remove the odd debuff. I mean, that's kind of, you know, I guess a trade off maybe, but yeah, it just seems like, you know, I bet Herman Prime is just going to do what Tamiris and Sargon already do, but better, which is kind of awkward because that's kind of one of the only things Sargon already did. And I also want to point out that like Sargon can apply the odd debuffs in AOE fashion. And what if we see Herman come out, Herman Prime have an AOE that deals poison stacks. I made a video years ago where I said that we should add, and this was sort of just my wish list, right? I said that they should add Robin Hood into Rise of Kingdoms and give him AOE poison stacks. Uh, I, I'll maybe I'll try to link the video in the description below. I it's been a really long time since I made that video, but I basically asked them to do that because I thought it would be kind of cool. And what if they're doing it right? Like, what if the active skill on Herman Prime is, you know, a circular five target circular AOE that, you know, deals 2000 damage factor and also puts one stack of poison on each target that's hit right like that's something that they could do and if that's the case well then that would make sense as to why he would have two different ways of adding poison stacks right because if you add them in aoe fashion well targets move around you have no way of kind of guaranteeing that you'll continue to add them and so it's possible that they that he has one skill that adds you know stacks to the target that he's hitting in a sort of consistent manner just like with tamiris then there's another you know skill here that possibly uh adds poison stacks with aoe and it just hits everything i have no idea that's all speculation i don't know for sure these skills have not been leaked and i just want to point out that there have been some people sharing what is quote unquote leaks on discord uh, and i have even seen somebody post a video about it that leak that people are sharing around is definitely fake it's actually ridiculous and this kind of confirms that it's fake so we already know that that's the case so yeah this is kind of a bombshell of information um we know he deals poison stacks which means he's almost definitely going to deal skill damage and i suspect that herman prime is definitely going to be a must-have commander if he is as prominent as tamiris i mean she stuck around forever despite being relatively bad as a commander poison has kept her around for years this is going to keep herman prime i think relevant for a long time unless the rest of his kit is utter garbage anyway guys that's everything that we know about herman prime for now uh we have no more information about Osher Bonapal. if you go through here there's nothing that is suspects you know Osher Bonapal will be anything other than what we already know so we don't know anything about him honestly so if you're waiting for skills on him you'll have to keep waiting a bit longer but i wanted to make this video for you guys just so that way you know what to expect from herman prime because he is coming very soon i've heard that the chinese servers will get him earlier than international servers that is just a rumor could be the case could not be the case i don't know i think ihara made a video talking about that so you could check out their channel if you want more information about it but yeah herman prime coming in either december or the very 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 beginning of J january that is my prediction and we'll know more about his skills very very soon anyway guys with that being said if you made it to the end of the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on herman prime do you think this is going to make poison even more broken i would love to hear from you down down there and while you're down there consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with breaking news and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace